Hi friends! Today we are going to go over four ways to start and end a stitch in embroidery. The first one I'll show you is knotting at the start and the end of your stitching. This one is pretty basic. It's the easiest one to pick up because it doesn't require too much extra work. You tie an overhand knot at the end of the long tail of the thread that is on your needle. I have about 18 inches of DMC embroidery floss on my needle right now. I am using all six strands in a size two embroidery needle. So now that you've tied a knot, you are going to come up from the back and it will catch because you tied a knot. And then you're going to stitch as usual uh, and the knot will hold and you won't have to worry about it. So today I am just doing a quick running stitch that's just up and down in a straight line. And once we get to the end, we will tie another knot and that is the gist of it. So you will want to tie a knot as close to the fabric as possible. So I do that by wrapping around my needle, pulling through, and then I use my needle to hold down that loop at the end to keep it in place, to tie it as close as possible to the back of the fabric. So once you've tied that knot on the end, you are going to snip the extra thread and you're done. This is the easiest way to start and end your embroidery. It is a great option for beginners and really quick to learn and execute. Next up, we are going to learn the stay stitch. I use this one a lot because I do work that is filled with texture and detail so I can hide that initial stitch and it works really well with that kind of sewing. So to start off, you will not tie a knot in your thread and you'll bring it up from the back. You'll leave about a one inch tail and you'll pin it down with the first finger on your non-dominant hand. So for me, that's my left hand. It's the one that holds the hoop as I go and it may be your right hand if you're left-handed. And then we will create one very small stitch and that's going to sit on the front of our work and this is this is the stitch for the stay stitch and then when we go back we can see we have that little tail we are going to pin down that little tail and stitch up halfway like in the middle of that first stitch that we made and we'll pin down the tail with that little half stitch You'll be able to see it better when I flip it over here in a second, but it'll trap that little tail and then we'll pull it up through and we'll be on the other side. So that traps the tail and it secures it at the back. It keeps it really flat and really clean. And that is something that I prefer to use because I tend to mount my work on something that is flat and it doesn't have any lumps or bumps in the back. So then you'll stitch as usual. Third, we are going to weave the ends in. So that is a technique where you work the tail underneath some stitches that were already created to pin it down in place. This can be done to start or end your work if you already have stitches under which you can weave those ends in. Here we are doing it to finish a stitch, so we are going to trim the tail after we've woven them in. Up next, we are going to go over waist knots or away knots. So for this technique, you will tie a knot at the end of the thread again, but this time we are going to go down through the front and that will be about an inch away from where we want to start stitching. So then after we've gone down through the front, that knot is sitting on the top and we'll bring it up from the back and stitch as usual. Once we are done with our normal stitching, we will come up from the back again and tie another knot on the front of the work and trim it there. Away knots work best when you're going to be doing a lot of other stitching because ultimately you will trim those away knots or waist knots off the front to leave a completely clean front. It has a similar function to weaving the ends in, but it's something that you can do if you don't have any other stitches to weave the ends under, but you will have other stitches later. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks!